Good afternoon. I'm Monisa Klein here at the GBTA broadcast studio. We're in day two. It's Thursday afternoon. And with us today, I have Gus Vonderheide, who is the vice president of global sales for Hyatt Hotels. Welcome, Gus. Thank you very much. Good to be here. It's great to be here with you Thank and you. have you here and share us all the exciting things that uh, Hyatt is working on. Thank you. Appreciate that. Has it been a good start for a convention for you guys? It's been a great start. I was so good. happy to see the amount of people, and not only that, the amount of suppliers that are here that, that knew that it was time to come back out. And Absolutely. all of our peers and are here, and it's just been great to see everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And you can feel that pent up demand, that desire for no people to be out it. and face to face, right? Even with a smaller number, the energy could not be more, uh, couldn't even be higher. Yeah, it's been I great. I agree. Well, you guys have a lot of exciting things happening, and one of which I'd love to hear about is uh, the recent acquisition of Apple Leisure Group and how that benefits the corporate travel manager. So maybe first talk a little bit about the the acquisition Absolutely. itself and then how it impacts this, this audience here, this group Thank here. you, absolutely. So Apple Leisure Group really has four components to it. It's got 100 resort hotels that are now Hyatt's, all inclusives. It's got a loyalty program, it's got an excursion company, and it's got a technology company. We get all that. So Hyatt becomes not only a, a seller of travel, we now become a buyer of travel too in some way, which is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. But, but adding these 100 all-inclusive resorts to our portfolio has given us not only a lot of these properties, but it's made us the largest operator of all-inclusive resorts in the world. Wow. So Hyatt all of a sudden has stepped into this space in a big way. We're going to let that company do what they do best and manage these assets for us, but it's put, it's put new product into markets like Spain and, and parts of Europe that we were not in before. So it's given us exposure around the world where we, we haven't had, so that's been pretty exciting. So, this all became available to us in November, just this month. We closed on wow. the deal. <laughs> and uh, it's just like very fresh, hot off, the, hot off the press news, which is exciting. And um, like I said, we're going, to let this, we're going to let that operation run itself as an entity of Hyatt. So you'll see it under our umbrella. We'll be advertising that brand. But these are like beaches and secrets. And a lot of the, um, a lot of the brands that you know of um, are now part of the Hyatt family, which is great. Wow. So from a corporate perspective, what's it mean to this audience? Mm -hmm. I think from an earn and burn on the loyalty program, it'll be amazing. I don't know that this, these are going to be great hotels for business travel because of the locations, but when you're earning those points at business hotels, what a better place to vacation by using your loyalty points at Hyatt. So World of Hyatt is our loyalty program. It's growing every day, and I'd certainly love to put a little plug in for that because it's something that's going to be a real big addition for this group of, of properties. And a great opportunity for diversification, right? And I think we saw the importance of that through the pandemic because leisure travel was so important, right, for a lot of the suppliers, certainly for the airlines, the hotel space. Um, leisure really, travel, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Leisure right? travel has helped right? us keep so, the lights on. Right, so <laughs> what We a need nice business way. travel yeah. back, but yeah. we are loving the leisure side of the absolutely. business. Thank goodness for them, yeah. Yeah, which is great. So you guys took an important step by launching the World, World of Care earlier this year. Can you tell me more about that initiative? Sure, World of Care was launched this summer as an environmental platform that really had two sides to it, sustainability and diversity. No real surprise, that seems to be two very <laughs> hot topics yes, this week yes. here in Orlando. But we really do, we, we, we believe it wholeheartedly, whether it's water confrontation or if maybe it's the footprint or carbon offsets or um, you know, saving energy. We are focused at that in a very big way. We have, we have absolutely done all the right things. We are recognized now as a brand that's stepping up to the plate. We are challenging our hotels around the world to make sure that they're doing the right thing. We're learning that a lot of the corporate customers in this room are making buying decisions now on how well the partners are coming to the plate with sustainability absolutely. as a main, as a main um, goal or priority. So I'd love to just tell the world today that Hyatt is absolutely on track. We're doing the things from, you know, like I said, water, saving water to energy, but, but carbon footprint seems to be the big, the, big, uh, the big note right now, and people want to know what we're doing. So that's, that's check the box on that. We are in a big way um, c committed to that. From a diversity perspective, I love the fact that we continue to understand that, you know, at Hyatt, we care for people so they can be their best, and that stands for our colleagues also. We are absolutely committed to growing our senior leadership with women and people Good. of color. We've got some very aggressive goals that are taking us to that level. And we're making, we're making strides. We are absolutely being checked on that. We're being challenged and we're making some great progress. So we're That's very excited great. about that. 
So inclusion, and I mean, it's just, it's yeah. top of mind, everything we do, it's yep. really in our DNA, which yep. I'm proud of. And you know, both of those topics, DEI and sustainability were main featured, um, you know, it was the spotlight they here sure at were. conventions. So. I, was real, I was happy to see the general yeah. session yesterday when, yeah. it, when such an emphasis was put on those two areas. I thought, you know what, we're, we're stepping good, step. Good. So I felt it's, really it's proud about to, that. It's good to validate that you're in sync, right, with what the marketplace and what your customers are talking about and really the world. Exactly. So that's yeah. great. So tell me a little bit more about Together by Hyatt. What is that all about and how is it different? Well, we knew when, this, when the pandemic hit, and group business, first of all, started to cancel, and a lot of it did, and that's really, some of that's our bread and butter, obviously, for our, many of our hotels. We knew that hybrid meetings were going to be a thing of the future. And a lot of our competitors came out with a hybrid solution immediately. We sat back a little bit, we talked to customers, we wanted to make sure that we understood exactly what that looked like. So Together by Hyatt is not just a hybrid solution, but it's really a new way to envision events. We know that things aren't going to be the same for a long while. So we got to make sure that we're providing not only the right training and the right resources to our customers, and hybrid is part of that. Technology is definitely part of it, but wellness and safety and offering experts to, to provide our, our planners and our customers, even in the room here, who do conferences, with the techni technical ability to learn what it takes to build one of these. And it's different. There's a lot of moving parts that most people have not even thought about. Cost, is there a cost involved? Absolutely. Is it more than a face-to-face -face meeting? It could be if you, if you right. don't know what you're doing. So we have, um, we have like I said, the, the wellness part of it. Here's a great example. If you are on a, attending a meeting from your home office, we want to keep you engaged in that content just as we do if someone's sitting in front of us. But you know, we multitask in the old world when we were on conference calls. <laughs> now we're probably in the kitchen making cookies and trying to make it do a meeting. So we find ways to engage that at home audience with some gamification and with some wellness opportunities to take a break and really make sure that they're engaged with the home audience. So we're doing all kinds of things like that. And again, hybrid technology is not to be lost. I just want to make a point that it's not the only piece of the pie. There's a lot of moving parts that make a very successful event moving forward. And Hyatt feels like we're a step ahead. We're, we're in a real good place there. That's so, great. I'm, you know, anybody that's doing any kind of meetings at all, bits and pieces. And it doesn't mean that you have to take the whole piece of the pie. There could be a wellness component or a safety component or let's talk about food and beverage. What's the best options? We got those answers for you that's now. That's great. So. Lots of thought. Yeah. Oh, wow, very thoughtful. Thank I you. love it. Yeah. I love it. Well, Gus, it's great to have you here. Um, any last words for this corporate audience? Well, I would just say, and I've said it all along, Hyatt has continued to be the brand that's flexible. We're creative. We want to meet you where you are in this recovery. We're not going to draw a hard line in the sand and tell you you've got to do business with Hyatt this way. Um, we, are, we are willing to, to work with you. <laughs> we want to work with you and... Um, it's okay. Breaking news. There you go, good. We, we, we certainly want to work with our customers in, in a way that's going to make them feel like Hyatt's a brand of choice. Um, we're growing. I said, uh, short 25 years ago, we had 165 hotels. We're crossing the 1300 line now. So, you know, we're not the, the big Goliath, but we are certainly a, a company to be dealt. And we're, we're very proud of where we are. We're growing with intent and we've got the products and the brands to support the travelers. So we appreciate your time. Thanks for and giving And doing us. all the right things, it sounds Thank like. Thank you so, very Which much. is so important. Thank you. Gus, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. My pleasure. And Thank we'll you see you out us. on the exhibit floor. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I'm Monisa Klein here at GBTA Broadcast Studio. Stay tuned for more.